here at Home Depot and just turned my head and I'm like, oh my gosh, Home Depot's getting in the game here. Yeah, cottages. Yeah, look at this. This is awesome. Giving people ideas. Aren't they a uh, marketing guru? I haven't seen this at their competitor. I haven't seen this anywhere. This is new. And I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to get a small shed. I was drawn to this one over here when I parked. I like this better than metal. I think it will look nicer. Yeah, I was expecting that. Resin, yeah, that's it, resin. And instead of jamming up um, inside my cabin, this would be a good space. Seven by seven, that's about it. And I could even use this as a, a workspace. Um, this could be a little art room. I don't know. It'd be nice if it had a window. I need to go inside Home Depot and I'm looking for a um, darkening blind for the nine light door. They didn't have what I needed yesterday at Home Depot. And I'm gonna give you some bonus footage. I'm heading back over to the cabin in daylight and I have a, a few questions that I still need to go over and ask most. So, hope you'll join me. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. I'm back. I didn't think I'd be back, but I'm back. Just can't get enough of looking at the cabin. I've got a short list of things I want to go over and check out with most if he's around. I've got my carpet samples. I want to put those against the floor and see what they look like. And picked up a rod for the closet. I don't know if we have enough space with the tankless water heater and the electrical box. Not sure. And I'm still debating on the leg issue for the countertop. So it's a beautiful Saturday. Farm animal friends are out. Hey guys, how you doing today? You sure are adorable. And here's the list. I'm gonna make sure that they've got the porch light that they're gonna be installing. I want to measure that sink to make sure that the one I ordered is not the same one because I can't believe that uh, that we're still dealing with the sink issue. Uh, I want to check to see about the vanity light. I don't remember seeing it. I want to try out the blinds. I want to check out the door color. So when I order a blind for that, a darkening blind, I'll know the color. Um, I had mentioned about a 2x4 to uh, adhere the countertop to the wall, and I want to see how they did that, just for the heck of it. Um, I'd like most to get the microwave out, and I want to put it on the shelf, because if it's too big, I'm going to take it back. And what else do we got? Um, well, I'm going to ask him if he'll, we'll, if he'll install that rod and that the sink that I ordered is coming tomorrow. I have a, quite a few things and I wanna take another video and I wanna see the walls and everything in the daylight. It was just getting too dark. This is show number 17. Uh, I started showing you when they started framing uh, the whole entire build if you're new to my channel. You can go back in the playlist, and it's about two months, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The other day I mentioned I had quite a few road trips away, but I forgot to mention that I went to Ohio. So along with these 17 build videos, I 
put some travels in between just to break it up a little bit. And that was Ohio. Um, I went twice to my tiny cabin. Of course, I didn't, or to my lot, and I didn't film that. There it is. I'm not sure that he's going to be around. He told me Monday through Friday, so I don't know. I hope I'm not intruding, but we are uh, down to the wire here, and time is of the essence. Where else did I go? Oh, Texas. That was a really fun one. Uh, I did three shows of unloading my storage and packing it all up and putting it into a U-box. That was awesome. Here it is. I'm gonna go check it out. It's just about noon today. Back in the daylight. It feels right to come back here. I tried out all the blinds to make sure they work. Open blinds and closed blinds. I like them. They weren't real expensive. Well, in the bigger scheme of things, <laughs> they did cost a few pennies, <laughs> a few dollars. How pretty. Yeah, I think all the blinds combined was around 500, for those of you who like to know. Um, I'll talk about where I got them a little bit later, but uh, they work nicely. I wanted to see them again. Did my checklist here. So there is a light going on up there. The electrician is supposed to come, and this was the cab that I was showing you last night. The electrician is supposed to come Monday or Tuesday, and here's the door for the uh, vanity. Washer and dryer will be put in when the cabin arrives. I check out the floor again. I really like it. The pictures I took look like it was pretty white and it's not, it's definitely gray. And here's the carpet samples that I showed you. Um, I don't know for sure, but I'm, I'm not gonna go with the pink and gray. That was Happy Haven's colors. <laughs> and like I said, I didn't care for the purple in this one. And I really like this. I think that this will just be a nice, um, not much of a contrast, but a little bit with the, the brown in there. So we have the browns and the grays. It's called Low Country. And I made a, another decision about the leg. I think these are just too fancy. I mean, they're not, they're not over the top fancy, but just to have one leg, I mean, when they're really kind of like tabletop legs, I mean, not table top, but table legs. I'm going to, for the time being, just go with a uh, dowel rod. I feel like the countertop is really, really sturdy, but most use the word soft, that there is still some soft. I don't feel much play at all. I can't imagine. He does want me to sign a waiver so that the cabinet or the countertop doesn't come crashing down. <laughs> and even if it did, it's like, so I'll have them paint this and you know, it won't show up much. I'm gonna get a bar stool or two. I think somebody could uh, sit on the end for a little meal together and right here. But with everything that's going on with the cabinets and the walls, I just think those butcher block pine legs are just a little bit too much. I hope I'm making the right decision, but again, I could always put one of these in later. And he has to extend it, so it's gonna look a little funky because they don't come in a 35 inch, so that's another thing. And here is the uh, closet rod. And I put it back in here, but I'm not sure how much space you need for a, uh, this is, it extends like to 48, so this is perfect. But I don't know how far back. 
or if I can kind of have it in the middle, I'm thinking, to hang clothes on. So I measured the washer and dryer just so that there's no last minute glitches. Wow, the blinds really makes it feel like home. I'm really glad I have those on there before I move in. That was a favor that I asked most to do. And uh, so there you have it. I think that's my checklist, mainly about the leg. I measured the sink, and this is absolutely not the sink that I asked them to order. So we all make mistakes, but this is 15 inch, and I ordered, asked them to order a 15 by 22. The 22 will come all the way back here. And so I'm gonna have a bigger bowl. This is a bar sink, this is not gonna work. But every time I come in here, I have that positive hat on and I don't wanna, you know, it's hard to, when things are done, to ask them to change them even though you're the customer. For some reason, I've got hangups with that. You know, like I don't want them to make me feel like uh, that I'm uh, trouble. <laughs> But they absolutely ordered the wrong sink. And I love this company, so, you know, things things happen. That's all there is to it. And most is going to change that out. So the sink comes tomorrow. There's the beautiful day in the neighborhood. And I'm going to stop by Monday or Tuesday because I want to actually put the microwave up here on the shelf and make sure that I didn't order too big of a microwave. I mean, it'll fit, but I don't know if I did overkill because it's 1,200 watt, and I didn't realize, you know, a standard one is about 1,000, and so I didn't need something to be, you know, massive. So I want to make sure, otherwise I can just take it back to Lowe's before it gets to my home, to my lot, and... I thought there was supposed to be hardware on this door. So see, it's all these last minute things that you definitely want to be aware of yourself. I thought there was supposed to be like a hardware piece right here and that it matches with the door here. Something like that. Woo. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, that's nice. And there it is shut. I'm still not certain how I'm going to get up above here. Uh, they do build ladders, and Murray had told me that they're awfully heavy, or Tyler, I can't remember who. So I'm going to try to get my own little ladder that I can store in the closet that maybe folds, takes up less space. And for the time being, I'm going to use that up there for storage until I decide on whether I get a, a little shed or not. I really like that resin shed today that I showed you. I'm going to come back, check out the microwave. Oh, I didn't even notice. I've got my fire hydrant right there. That's cool. I've always had one under the sink, and it's always, uh, I remember it, like, expiring. <laughs> I don't keep up with these things, even though I should. Okay, that says full. Not funny in the case of a fire, so. There you have it. Be back one or two more times. Kind of curious to stay and see when all the electrical's in before I, I head out. Don't know what I could change at this point, but um, that's a, that'll about do her for now. Must be my house keys. Woohoo! Both doors shut. Very nice. Taking a lot of pictures. And one last look before I say goodbye till Monday. It's Saturday. I love all the light coming in here. Thank you, Judy. Insisting on three by fours. <laughs> And the additional window right here. All the blinds are open. And it is a gorgeous day in the neighborhood.
Bye bye, Catman. See you later. Breakfast. One of my final or final day cooking inside Happy Haven before I move into the cabin. I'm gonna put my red raspberries on the pancake and go over to the lovely picnic table over yonder and have breakfast at my favorite picnic spot or at least one of them. Raspberries aren't looking too healthy. They're kind of mushy. So we went with the last of Aunt Jemima with a little butter. Gonna journal, coffee, and enjoy the view before I head over to the cabin. Every time I come over here, I think I see different animals. I'm not sure if I've seen horses before. I'm gonna have to go back and watch my own shows. <laughs> Although sometimes I don't want to do that because I don't want to listen to me. I'm always talking. And there's the cabin. There's the cabin. I'm going to get away from calling it tiny because it's a mansion to me. All right, let's go see what we can see. What you got to say? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Here's my other friends. So pretty. They're all different colors. Hey guys. <laughs> hey there, Fluffy. How are ya? I got all sorts of greetings. What do you got to say? Anything? Sure are pretty. Just spoke with Moe's. He covered my entire list and he had the microwave out ready for me to see. I'm happy about that. <clears throat> Whirlpool. That's one of the last microwaves made in the USA. So I think some of them are not, but this particular one is. So that was exciting. And here's the sink. Yay! This is the one he just removed. It's a bar sink. And that's not the one that was ordered. And now instead of just loving this company, I love, love this company. They made it right and uh, been so very, very nice uh, to work with. Integrity, something that's missing in a lot of companies. And I'm just said this before, but I do believe God's fingerprint is all over this and working with these people, Mennonites, their, um, their disposition, their attitude, their friendliness, their their work ethic, um, their honesty, their willing to uh, own up to mistakes is just fabulous. There is no piece supposed to go on this. I was wrong. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be plain and I like that. I really like that. And over here, they have the hardware when it's a regular door, so. That's all good. Inside, I had never been in here to see when this is closed. So this is very nice. There's the inside for closing. Most even asked me if that was a good place for the uh, towel bar and I said that was perfect because I'll be putting a mirror here and over further, we'd be right above the toilet. So he gave me a space here that was very thoughtful. The shower door will stay open. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video, but it's because this uh, is, home is not level right now. He said he has to measure, measure from the ceiling. He can't even use a level in here when he's measuring. So there you have it, daytime. Going to come back one more time tomorrow afternoon, late. The uh, electrician should be done with the ceiling fans and all the lights, the porch light. Um, the leg will be, we decided where the leg's, leg's going to be. We talked about a doorstop. I'm not going to get a doorstop yet because I don't know exactly where. The only piece of furniture that I know where it's going to go is my son gave me a that wrought iron um, coat rack. I think him and his uh, wife gave that to me. But anyways, 
Um, that's a special piece and I'm gonna have that in the corner here. And so I don't know how far out the base comes. And uh, we talked about the little caps that go in here and they're gonna paint these. So I just really wanted to double check on everything and it's all good. The refrigerator is at Hilltop and it is going to be uh, delivered over here as well. So there you have it. See you later, Fluffy. Moose said he has three cabins here and they're talking about bringing three more over to him. This is a very busy company. You can see why by the quality of their work. So beautiful. This is the horses, I guess, that pull their carts. Beautiful. I'm walking around the parameter now. The supervisor told me three or four times around is a mile, so we're going for it. We've done this a couple times. And I just love watching the leaves fall. So peaceful. Yep, winter's coming. Some places harsher than others. Things in your day and joy in the journey.